welcome back to a beautiful, bright, sunny, wintry morning. Oh my word, this weather just puts me in such a good mood. I honestly don't know anyone who gets as affected by the weather as I do. I have SAD like to the max to the point of when it's raining when it's miserable i'm always in such bad mood when the weather is like this oh it just makes my soul sing it is absolutely stunning i absolutely adore the way that the sun hits our kitchen and the way that it hits the christmas tree it looks so so magical i don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well if i come over here you can kind of see look at the light flickering it doesn't show up as well on camera, but in real life, oh my goodness, it literally just looks like the sun is dancing in our kitchen and it's like glistening against the baubles. You can see there. It's basically where the sun hits through the wisteria and the wisteria kind of like moves in the wind and it is honestly just so magical. It always makes me so happy. I love to just sit in here with my morning coffee and just watch the sun move through the kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful. I am having one of those mornings where I'm just feeling very grateful and very content right now. I'm also having a little bit of a no makeup makeup kind of a morning hair scraped back looking very very cash because i'm actually heading out later tonight i've got a really fun day plan i have an event later on today which i'm so looking forward to but i thought there's not really much point in getting ready properly today so i'm going super cash literally all i put on is the pixie h2o skin tint just for a little bit of coverage done my brows and just put a little bit of mascara through my lashes and that is it today because i'm gonna take this off later and do like a full face of makeup ready for the event Tonight, which I'm really really looking forward to I am just loving the London events at the moment the Christmas parties are so much fun so I've just got my little Ralph Lauren cable knit on and like minimal jewelry and all of that jazz oh my goodness the sun's just gone in oh it goes so great when the sun goes in but I have had a lovely delivery arrive this morning that I want to unbox with you guys so I have had the loveliest delivery arrive from Freddie's flowers which is basically like a flower delivery service they're like a subscription service that you can sign up to to get letterbox flowers through the post i think it's every two weeks or maybe once a month i have to double check but i've just done a little one-off delivery because i am so excited to add some festive blooms into the house you guys know how much i adore my blooms i have lots of faux flowers around the house but i do just love adding in real flowers as well i feel like it feels so much more special having real flowers to add into your home i feel like it just adds that really lovely like bringing nature in from the outside it adds such a like warmth and color to the home and I'm so excited to have some festive foliage to add to the kitchen table so I feel like that's the one thing that's been missing as much as I'm loving my little cracker decoration I feel like having some festive flowers on the table would just look so magical so I thought that we could unbox these together and um, style up the bouquet because you guys know how much I love flower arranging it's so much fun look how cute this is they've literally got like a instruction of how to um how to do the flowers. This is my mantra, five steps to the perfect arrangement. Pour, trim, style, refresh, and enjoy. So, so cute. And we've got a little note in here. Oh my God, had yourself, have yourself a friendly Christmas. <laughs> that is so, so cute. I'm assuming, treat yourself to our brand new showstopper. I don't think that is the bouquet that I've got today. Or oh, if you want a real wreath, get yourself a wreath from freddie's flowers that is so lovely unwrap four weeks of festive flowers starting from the 5th of december oh this is so cute i think this is basically just a little kind of advert for all of their festive flowers they even do candles that is so so cute so i think ah yes i think this is the flower that I have the arrangement. So this is what the arrangement is going to look like. So we've got some lilies in there. I have no idea what they are, but they look absolutely amazing. These like pink ones. Oh, it says here on the back. That is so cute. Meet the fantastic flowers of the big flower night in. Head to your flower calendar in your online account to make sure you don't miss out. This is so cute. So we've got eucalyptus. We've got rose hip. We've got lilies. We've got Alstroemia, Alstroemeria, Alstroemeria, potentially. We've got Lucent, oh my goodness, I cannot pronounce that. Lusa, Lucidendron, Lucidendron, Lucidendron. We've got Bloom, we've got Solidagio, we've got Irises, we've got Bloom, we've got Brassica, we've got Roses, we've got Snowberries and Asters. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you that just in case. My pronunciation was so horrendous, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but such lovely flowers. And this is like a little bit of an instruction of kind of how you can um, like arrange them. The stems of power. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, it's literally like a step-by-step -step of how you can arrange the flowers, which is so, so lovely. Oh my word, I'm in love with these. Look, so these are the rose hip. Oh, they are absolutely stunning. That just looks so, so festive. And this is the interesting flower. So I believe they're called, I think these are called blooms, which I have never, ever heard of before. Let me try and get these out so carefully. But look at that oh my word that is the most beautiful flower i think i've ever seen the way that it's just layered is so so beautiful so i am going to get arranging these so that they are looking so beautiful ready to be center stage on my festive table scape <laughs> my goodness me look at how beautiful these look i've just put them at center stage on the table and they look stunning look at that movement from the stereo oh my goodness i just love it but how beautiful are they they are so so gorgeous really easy to arrange actually i required very like minimal cutting i feel like they've kind of sorted it out for you so if you don't like cutting your own flowers don't like having to spend ages on arrangements this is like the perfect kind of setup for you because they are just so so beautiful i love how wonderful and wild they look love how much foliage comes with it i just think the foliage is what really makes it and the pops of red really go well with my color scheme i might bring this one forward a little bit there we go the pops of red go so beautifully with my color scheme i absolutely love them i can't wait for the lilies to bloom lilies smell absolutely incredible they're probably going to set off alex's hay fever so i might need him to take a tablet tonight but it's worth it for the beautiful lilies and these are just stunning they're called blooms literally just called blooms so so gorgeous i am absolutely obsessed i definitely recommend if you are wanting to do like regular flower arranging getting yourself a pair of like flower scissors they're so much easier than having to get like a chopping board and a knife out um but it's not good to use regular scissors because they're usually not sharp enough and they will often like damage the stem and it means that the flowers won't last as long so i'll link these down below they're just from amazon they were so cheap and cheerful but they are fab i use them for flower arranging inside i've used them like outside whenever i've been deadheading like roses and flowers and things like that so i would definitely recommend getting yourself a pair of those but oh wow let me step back because this is making me very happy this view is just absolutely wonderful okay so i've just come upstairs now because i need to start deciding what i'm going to be wearing for tonight and i have a few new in pieces that i wanted to show you now you guys might remember back in october time when i first started getting into the festive spirit spent a day in london and went to the adriana papel showroom now adriana papel is a brand that i just absolutely adore the dress that i wore to the wedding in portofino was adriana papel it had pockets it was so structured it was so comfortable and it was the most complimented dress i think i've ever ever owned and when i I went to the showroom i fell in love with a few of their festive pieces so i was waiting for them to come in stocks so obviously whenever i go to like showrooms whenever i do these kinds of visits often these pieces haven't dropped yet so i have to wait a little while till i can get my hands on them but the pieces have finally dropped online which i'm so so excited about you can shop adriana papel at john lewis and i believe harvey nichols so i'll leave links down below if you do want to shop them they have so many gorgeous like really high quality really really beautiful party wear pieces but i thought i would show you what i've been picking up because i'm going to decide what to wear tonight i think it might be one of these pieces now the first dress you might remember that i tried this on at the adriana papel showroom and the second i put it on i was like i'm ready this is it this is my christmas outfit sorted i just fell in love and all of the girls were so sweet they were literally they're going oh my goodness it's stunning it's amazing you need to get it i was so so obsessed with this dress so it's a really gorgeous black velvet halter neck dress and i feel like nothing screams christmas more than velvet i love velvet for christmas it's just like really timeless really chic really easy to wear but of course we've got the show stopping piece on this dress at the collar look 
at that. The pearl detail, oh my word, is it going to focus on it? That pearl detail is just so stunning. You've got pearls encrusted with like diamantes, encrusted with like sequins. Oh wow. Oh wow, it is just one of those dresses that I feel like, it's just one of those dresses that I feel like is going to be in my wardrobe for the rest of my life. One thing that I definitely feel like with my style, I have a very ageless style and a lot of the pieces that I love showing you, especially when it comes to like party wear and stuff, are pieces that you can wear no matter how old you are, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50 or 60. This is the kind of dress that I can imagine myself wearing, I can imagine a younger cousin wearing, I can imagine my auntie wearing. Like there are so many age ranges that would fit into this dress which is what I really really love about it. I love the fact that it's just so timeless and classic. A halter neck cut is really really flattering on so many different body shapes and I love the fact that it's more of this like midi kind of length because I feel like it means that it fits more kind of silhouettes. It's really covered yet still sexy like the black velvet is what really helps with that kind of like very elegant sexy factor. Oh my goodness I'm so in love with this. This dress is just it's just stunning. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm going to stop gushing. We're going to try it on. I'm going to style it up with you guys because I think this might be the top contender for what I'm going to wear tonight. Oh my goodness me. Would you look at this dress? We've got a lot of tags hanging down that I definitely need to cut off because there is no way I am sending this back. This dress is just everything. Absolutely everything everything the collar detail is so stunning it's literally jewelry in itself i love it so so much it kind of feels a bit weird that i'm not like made up trying these dresses on but actually having my dress up with this dress was perfect for the try on because if i'm wearing this dress i'm doing a slick back button tonight because it just looks absolutely amazing i'm so obsessed with the halter neck detail it's like a really perfect like comes out far enough under your arms so that you don't feel like you've got a big like roll around this bra strap but is still really flattering on like your collarbone and on your shoulders which i really really like the length is stunning as well it's like this really gorgeous midi length which i think is so flattering especially paired with my gorgeous manolo blanix oh my word i am going to get so much wear out of these this Christmas they are absolutely gorgeous they really are a very comfortable heel actually I mean you know they don't feel like slippers obviously a heel is always going to feel like a heel does but they are super comfy and I love how they look with the dress they're kind of making me wish I'd gotten the black because the black velvet would have looked amazing with the black dress but the green still looks phenomenal and I've just started up with my sparkly cult guy up bags I think it just works so well with the dress obviously going for a plainer dress means you can kind of style up your accessories a little bit more Sparkly, and I feel like it would just sit really nicely on my shoulder as well you can really see the kind of like detail on the bag but oh my word the dress is just gorgeous I love the way that it like hugs me and hugs my silhouette one thing I will say actually is you can definitely size down in this dress I'm so glad I tried it on at the showroom because they only had a small in the showroom and I was pretty convinced that it wasn't going to fit I was like mm, I'm definitely going to need a medium I don't think a small is going to fit I tried it on and look at it it is perfect it's actually a little bit of room here I could have maybe even tried the extra small but I think that would have been a little bit too tight this is nice and comfortable so definitely size down one size in this dress if you want it to be really figure hugging and really flattering but oh my word I think I may have just found the dress to wear tonight this is so so beautiful I mean this outfit in itself I feel like an absolute Christmas princess and that is what you want to be feeling when you're going to festive parties so I'm absolutely in love with this. Next up is an outerwear piece and I know we've spoken quite a lot about outerwear when it comes to party wear when it comes to festive events, evening events, it can be really, really tricky to find the perfect outerwear for your Christmas outfit. And I saw this at the showroom and oh my goodness, I fell in love. And they actually had it in two different colors and the girls were so surprised at what my favorite color was. They had this color, they also had it in black. Now, I feel like black is very classic. It would be a really, really easy color to add into your festive wardrobe, but I do find that a lot of my outfits are all black black dresses, black tops, black trousers. And I thought, you know what? It might be really nice to go for something a little bit different. So it's a contrasting color. So this is the most stunning, like kind of pinky purpley, like minky colored poncho. Oh my word, I am obsessed. Do you know what this would be absolutely perfect for if you have a wedding coming up over the winter period, like a festive wedding. This would be so perfect to style up over your dress just to keep you a little bit toasty warm, adds that extra layer, but it's still so elegant. It still lets you show off your outfit underneath, lets you show off your dress, and it's the perfect kind of piece just to chuck over your festive outfit. And let me tell you, this is the softest thing in the entire 
world. I literally just want to sit here and stroke it. It is so stunning. Anyone that hugs you at all of your festive events, they're just going to want to keep hugging you and stroking you because it's so, so cozy. I absolutely love it. Love the fact that it has no design details. Actually, they had a few different ponchos in the Adriana Papel showroom. They had quite a few that were like over your shoulder that were like tie ups or kind of like button ups. But I really loved the fact that this was just an overhead one. Obviously, it's loose enough that you're not going to like ruin your hair or anything like that. It can be really easily taken on and off. But I love the fact that it's just this one piece no design details nothing that's kind of like detracting from the outfit underneath but if you wanted to a really easy way of elevating this would be just to add a brooch i think it would look so so lovely i need to get my festive brooch out this year that's exciting but yeah i think this is a perfect layering piece perfect outerwear piece for all of your christmas party outfit oh my goodness me so i just thought i'll try on the poncho with this dress and look at how cute it looks with just the collar sticking through i absolutely love it obviously it's difficult for me to show you because i always have to keep one arm up but it's such a cute little cover-up it's such a cute little layering piece and as i said the softest thing ever it's a really flattering length as well if you can see it kind of just hits at my waist so it means that no matter what skirt you're wearing or what bottoms you're wearing it like it really figure hugs you and flatters you by making sure that it doesn't come down too far if it came down like further here it would have been a little bit too bulky and a little bit too oversized um but i really love the kind of cut of it and where it sits i think it looks so so beautiful i just think this is such a great layering piece it goes really well with this dress they are definitely designed to be worn together but of course you can wear it with loads of different necklines loads of different dresses i think it's one of those pieces that will just go with absolutely everything as i said there's no design details it's really minimal you could add your own brooch if you want to really elevate the poncho make it a little bit more festive and a little bit more elevated i think it would look really lovely but i am just obsessed with it and finally you guys are not going to believe this dress when I show it to you because it's red oh my word I really am branching out with my colors this year and I feel like it doesn't get much more festive than like a merlot wine red color oh my goodness me this dress is just stunning now this is your party dress your night out with the girls drinks with your boyfriend big night out kind of a dress around Christmas time. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. This would also make a stunning New Year's Eve dress. I am so obsessed with the sequins on this. Look at how they just shimmer in the light. I have no natural light hitting this room. I have no lights on at the moment, but it still is shimmering. And I feel like that is a true testament to high quality sequins. I am so obsessed with how this looks. So it's a really gorgeous kind of like cowl neck mini dress. It's actually a little bit shorter, which I think is still really nice. I think with a pair of cute little heels it will style up really really beautifully you can throw the poncho over the top you can wear like a longer line coat if you want something really nice and snugly warm i feel like there's lots of different ways that you can wear this dress and it's just so fun i feel like if you can't wear sequins at christmas then when can you i'm loving going all out with my party outfits at the moment with my festive glittery party wear i'm just having so much fun with it i think it's the perfect time of year to go a little bit extra with your wardrobe so i definitely recommend checking out the age uh, Papel sequin dresses they have so many gorgeous really high quality full length gowns like ball gowns if you've got something really fancy to go to this Christmas but if you just want a nice party dress I think this is the perfect one for you well oh my goodness me this is something a little bit different for what I normally go for a short tight bodycon dress hair low but I'm actually in love with it I think hair wrap doesn't quite work I think it's a little bit too much chest on show I think maybe like curly hair or hair down would just look a little bit better but I love the neckline look at this cowl neck detail it's so beautiful love the fact that it's not too like open I have had that quite a lot where they've been really low and I feel a little bit self-conscious but this is beautiful you could also kind of pull it over your shoulders a little bit so it's a little bit more kind of an open collet detail it would look so beautiful with some pearls <gasps> that would look amazing but the length is stunning it's like a really lovely mini length it just looks so so beautiful again with the Manolos very festive color palette the reds and the greens and the sequins are just stunning look at the way that they shimmer in the daylight can you imagine how they're going to sparkle at night they are just going to look so so incredible so another gorgeous dress i definitely recommend it checking out the adriana papel sequin dresses because they are just so beautiful well i think it's pretty clear which dress i'm going to be wearing tonight the velvet black one just made me feel so amazing and the collar detail is just so stunning so it's time to do the ceremonial cutting 
of the tag, which always makes me feel so happy whenever I know, I've got this one as well, whenever I know I'm gonna be keeping something. I always cut the tags off in a very ceremonial style. It also has, which is really cute, a little, um, pouch where is it a pouch of a couple of spare pearls and a spare diamante just in case you lose one but this is such high quality i don't think these are going to be coming off very easily so yeah my outfit sorted for tonight right time to start getting ready for tonight i've just taken all of the makeup off that i had on all of my jewelry and i've put on my robe because i feel like i didn't want to wear the jumper as i was getting my makeup on because god forbid that i spill makeup on my favorite ralph Lauren jumper i absolutely love that but i'm not gonna lie my skin is not looking amazing at the moment i'm a little bit self-conscious coming on camera completely makeup free because i found that it's had a little bit of a freak out i think it's mainly because of like lifestyle at the moment. I'm spending a lot more time in London. I'm keeping my makeup on for a lot longer. I'm really busy at the moment, which obviously busyness often equals stress, often just equals like my skin having a bit of a freak out. So I am using today a couple of products that I'm really hoping are going to help with regards to the particularly the pollution and making sure that that isn't the contributing factor to my breakouts they're really annoying little breakouts like they're just little basically little whitehead spots that just keep popping up at the moment they go quite quickly but they're just making me feel a bit self-conscious because even like once you pop them and stuff you've still got the um texture there so i'm really hoping that this is going to be helping with regards to protecting my skin from the pollution it's the body shop edelweiss collection i'm really really enjoying it so this is the daily serum concentrate and they're basically designed to help protect your skin against pollution kind of give your skin a bit more of a barrier so i've used the serum today and the moisturizer and i must say they smell amazing they feel really lovely to apply and i'm hoping that they're just going to help with regards to making sure that my skin does not come home with another freak out because i'm obviously going to be wearing my makeup for a long time today i'm gonna to be wearing it all night throughout the party i'll get home late obviously i always do my skincare no matter what it doesn't matter how much i've had to drink it doesn't matter how late i get home even if it's three in the morning i will be taking my makeup off i'll be doing a double cleanse before i get into bed it's just about giving my skin that like extra layer of protection that extra barrier and extra coverage but it is time to start getting ready now one thing i'm going to be doing really differently that feels really wrong is i'm not going to be wearing spf i've gone to a couple of parties recently where i was wearing spf and looking at the flash photography it's not a vibe it's not a vibe my face goes obviously very you know not quite the same color as the rest of my body it looks very white and very washed out um so if you are going to a night party try and make sure to take off your spf so in terms of my primer i'm going to be using the ysl beauty two chocolate primer which is such a nice one it's a really lovely like the best way to describe it it's a greasy primer i do usually find that i wash my hands after this because they do feel a little bit greasy but it makes your skin just feel absolutely incredible the best way to describe it is it feels like as i'm applying this the product is just airbrushing my skin like it literally feels like it is just sitting into my pores ready to kind of perfect them to sit nicely to make sure that my makeup doesn't move and that everything looks perfectly airbrushed and smooth now i'm actually doubling up on primer today because i really want to make sure that my makeup looks perfected and lasts for as long as possible so i'm going to use the nars this is the smudge proof eyeshadow base but i'm also going to use it on the areas i'm going to be concealing so i'll do a little bit on the top of my um, eyelids and just dot it about and i find that it just makes sure that basically your concealer stays put on the areas you want it because you know when you've got a few breakouts especially when they're quite fresh and the concealer just kind of clumps weirdly. I feel like this is a great way of giving your yourself a little extra kind of layer of smoothness and making sure that your concealer sits a lot nicer on those areas and it just makes sure that you kind of keep it nice and covered. It's looking a little bit more airbrushed and stays a lot longer. And then in terms of foundation, I'm going to be using the YSL Touche Clark. This is in the shade B10, and it's a really, really gorgeous finish. Glowy, but still not too, like, shiny. Very nice and full coverage, so perfect for your festive parties. Now, concealer. I have definitely noticed in terms of my night makeup versus my day makeup how different I feel like it needs to be. With regards to concealer, I am so light-handed with it and I use a darker shade. I find that if you go too bright, it really, again, with the flash, really shows up. So this is the shade 0.5N and this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion ultra long wear concealer it's a really really lovely one also a great tip i've learned recently instead of wetting your beauty blender with water is to spray it with your setting spray this is the pixie makeup fixing mist oh my goodness it makes such a difference to how long your concealer lasts because you're basically 
like mixing in together the concealer with the lasting finish uh, spray and it really really helps and before i do anything else i'm going to powder that down with the code 8 this is their just facial powder i can't remember what this one's called it's just called the matte velour and it's a really nice one at basically mattifying and i just apply a little bit under the eyes just to help set that concealer under my eyes and i'll also basically apply it where i applied that concealer and where i don't want any shine so around my chin around my lips my nose and a teeny tiny little bit on my forehead i must say with regards to powder i like to use a really lightweight brush this is just a bobbi brown sheer powder brush and it's a really really nice one because it doesn't like pack it on if you do want to pack your foundation um your powder sorry on i definitely recommend using a sponge instead but i just want it lightweight i want it to take away that major shine um so i'm going to use some bronzer now i'm going to use the hourglass love this i really like mixing these two colors in together i think it's just so beautiful i feel like my makeup does change so much seasonally as well a big difference with regards to my bronzer at the moment is that i'm definitely doing much more of like a contour rather than a warming bronze this is coming up very well i'm just looking at camera it looks like i have chocolate cheeks but i can tell you in person it looks very nice and natural but i'm just going to tidy that up with my foundation brush um just so that i can kind of make sure that it's a little bit sharper and that that line is much more contoury rather than bronzy because obviously you know there's not really a lot of sun we don't want to look like we have been caked by the moldavian sun we just want to look a little bit bronzed and a bit more contoured so yeah i think that's a little bit better on camera i can tell you now i can promise you it looks really nice in real life sometimes the camera especially because i'm next to the window picks things up a little bit harsher with regards to forehead bronze as well i like to keep it quite close to the hairline and really natural i don't want my head to look again like i've been in the sun it doesn't really need it this time of year so it's just nice to have that little bit of kind of shaping and framing to the face that's like the main reason that i kind of use it i'm going to use the hourglass palette for my blush as well i'm just going to use this little pinky shade here and with blush i'm very light-handed with it and i really again use it for more than face shaping than anything else so i just kind of apply it on the apples of my cheeks and pull it up almost where you would put your highlight but a little bit lower and i personally am not wearing highlight at the moment um don't think i need it especially when there's flash photography i don't think highlight is very flattering because it really does glow so just a little bit of shimmery blush i think is the way forward for me and just helps again to pull my face up we like that elongation we like that kind of elevation of the cheekbones <laughs> brows one thing i find that i have to be really careful with with my eyebrows is not to overdo it especially if i'm doing hair up i have very very heavy eyebrows i think is the best way to describe it but it's weird i feel like i have quite masculine eyebrows and quite a feminine face shape um and i just sometimes find on some people it really works on me it's not really a vibe so i quite i'm quite careful with how i apply my brows and i'm quite light-handed so i'm using the two Too Faced. Um, this is the Super Fine Brow Detailer and the Too Faced Fluff and Hold. This is a really, really great one if you're looking for something similar to Refi. Um, I do like the Refi one. Might go back to it one day, but for now, I'm using the Too Faced one because it is just as good. Actually, I might even say it's better because the big difference between the Too Faced one compared to the Refi one is the Too Faced one is a clear gel, whereas the Refi is like, it's got a little bit of a white kind of tint to it and sometimes you can see it through your brows now again i'm so light-handed with this because it is actually quite a heavy product so you don't want to apply too much but it really helps just to give your brows that really fluffy look hold them in place i think it's really lovely but again i'm looking at camera going wow that's heavy that's a lot but i find that once i've got my eye makeup on it kind of cancels out and balances out so speaking of eye makeup of course we're going to be using the Too faced natural nudes born this way palette it's just the prettiest thing ever i'm gonna be really radical and really different and i'm gonna do a brown smoky eye <laughs> honestly i swear i don't like to change things up very much but when you know it works you know it works so well without tooting my horn too much i'm kind of obsessed with that look i'm really really happy with how the eye makeup has turned out i've been really working on my eye makeup technique i've had a couple of master classes recently which have been really useful as well and i feel like the best tip is just to be as light-handed as possible so that you like don't make mistakes it's easier to like build than it is to take away if that makes sense um but yeah i'm really really happy with how that's turned out really glam really smoked out but still nice and bronzy in terms of what colors i use in case you want to recreate a similar look um so i went in with nude for the undershade which is a really 
as it says on the tin perfect nude really really nice under shade i then went coco in kind of the like crease of my eyes and then like a little bit smudged out at the end and i've also done it a little bit under my eyes because i feel like you need a little bit just a little bit of color otherwise i find they're a little bit top heavy um so then went in with coco i then used sugared chestnut which is this shade right here to do more of a smoky blend in like kind of the outer corner so i basically took from half of my eye to the outer edge with sugared chestnut and then i took from the middle to the inner corner with shimmering pearl which is a really lovely like rose gold almost champagne -y shade which is so beautiful i then took glistening snow right on the inner corner of my eyes because i really wanted to brighten them up i do find that with regards to if you have hooded eyes like me it can be quite easy for them to look quite closed up and quite heavy so it's really nice to go in with a light shade right on the inner corner so i used glistening glow and a little bit of swan right on the inner corner just to open my eyes up and then of course used truffle for the flick which is just my favorite i love that it's a brown flick as well i feel like it really works well with the eye shadow look and of course i just completed that with a little bit of mascara so i'm really really happy how so I'm really, really happy with how the eye makeup has turned out. I'm really proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Excitingly, I actually have a new Clinique lip liner to open. This is the shade that I have been loving recently. This is Intense Blush in Summer. I'm all about Intense Sassafras. It's a little bit lighter and kind of peachier, whereas I feel like this one's a bit more of like a mauve nude, but I just use this to line my lips. It's a really good one because it's super sharp and it doesn't require... Um, sharpening it's just like a little twisty nib which is so handy and then to finish it off i'm going to be using the charlotte tilbury hyaluronic what is this called exactly oh, i cannot remember i don't think it says on it it's like a hyaluronic lip balm i think it's called um in the shade pillow talk this is the one that i picked up from farfetch which you can of course still use my voucher to get 35 pounds off if you spend 400 pounds with ellie save so i'll leave that linked down below as well but i'm really enjoying this and one thing i will say about this is it is thick it's really heavy you don't want to go in heavy handed i feel like when i first applied it in that video i did like a usual lipstick technique whereas actually i think the best thing to do is dot so if i, if I dot my lips and just kind of rub it together it gives a bit of a more natural coverage do you see what i mean i feel like it just sits a little bit nicer and it's not too thick not too heavy but gives you such a gorgeous like oh juicy lip i think is the best way to describe it. i really do feel like my lips are being nourished they're being moisturized it's just so beautiful so i need to do my hair now now i'm just going to be doing a slick back bun but i'm going to be doing a little bit of a different technique now i recently did a bit of shopping on Amazon and picked up a couple of these thin combs because I've heard that they're really, really good at getting more of a slick back bun. And I feel like because I was just using a hairbrush before, I wasn't quite getting those like really sharp, um, you know, like slicked back look. So I'm just going to give it a quick brush through first. I'm also going to use a dark scrunchie. I'm going to use a navy blue scrunchie. I don't have a black one that's like a good a good thickness on my hair you know when they're too thin so i feel like navy blue is the closest i'm going to get to black um but basically i'm just going to go in with the comb and you can literally see already just how much it's like really picking up all of the hairs and making sure that they are as smooth as possible now i do get a lot of flyaways but we will fix that in a minute okay so looking very slick very tight on my head now I used to use hairspray when I first started doing these slick back buns and actually I saw a TikTok video that kind of changed my life and you're probably going to think I'm a little bit bad but trust me it works. Instead of using hairspray use hair gel. This is actually Alex's hair gel. It's a VO5 styling wax. <laughs> I literally just steal it off him out of the bathroom cupboard but it makes such a difference and you need the tiniest amount like literally that's all i use just a tiny little pea size rub it into your hands to warm it up and then basically just go in and smooth those flyaways because i get so many flyaways i've got quite flyaway hair is the best way to describe it but just smooth out those flyaways and it just means that they will not budge it makes such a huge difference i like to loosen my bun a little bit though because i do feel like i have this is going to sound really weird i have a lopsided head i feel like this part always goes a little bit tighter than this part so i like to just loosen it out a little bit have a bit of a play around 
stick band the bits that aren't listening i also do it at the bottom because i get a lot of flyaways at the bottom and honestly it just makes such a huge difference to your slick back bun it keeps it in place i mean it's crispy don't get me wrong you will need to wash your hair the next day but it's totally totally worth it for that slicked back wet look so hair is done, makeup is sorted, and the dress is on, and I could not be feeling any more like a princess right now. I'm so, so in love with it. And now comes for the fun part, the jewellery. You guys know how much I love styling up my jewellery, especially when it comes to, like, nighttime looks, seeing what kind of, like, stacks well with pieces and how I'm going to be styling up the outfit. Now, I feel like it's going to be no secret no secret that of course i have to really capitalize on the pearls on this dress and style it up with some gorgeous pearl jewelry you guys know how much i adore my pearl jewelry from pandora so of course in terms of earrings i'm going to go for the pearl dangly drops because i just think they're going to look so beautiful alongside the collar i don't think i'm going to go for a necklace because i feel like this dress just doesn't really need it how gorgeous does that look oh it's absolutely beautiful it's really funny i feel like when you have your hair slicked back like this you really need something a little bit more with regards to your earrings i feel like a little pixie when i don't have my earrings in but as soon as i put them in i'm like yes this is elegance this is class and just look at how the pearls look together i really really love the pandora pearls they're really high quality beautiful freshwater pearls i absolutely adore them and i always get so many compliments on them so i think i'm gonna just stick with the pearls with regards to like this kind of jewelry styling i'm not gonna do any necklaces or any layering like that because the dress just doesn't need it but of course we need more pearls on my wrists so i'm gonna wear my favorite little fresh water pearl kind of half chain bracelet i love this so so much and i feel like it's really going to pull the outfit together and I've layered two together, which I feel like looks so, so beautiful. It's one thing I've really loved about this ambassadorship is how much I've kind of like pushed myself out of my comfort zone with regards to jewelry, what I've like discovered and learned. And one thing that I find really fun is layering the same piece together. And it's something I never would have thought of to do. I never would have thought why, like, a lot of people do might think, why would you buy the exact same bracelet twice? But they just look so good layered up together. And I have one that's slightly bigger than the other, so it means that they kind of like knock into each other, they cross over each other, and it looks really, really lovely. I feel like it's such an easy way to just like elevate your look. And it just looks so pulled together, so classy. So it's definitely something I would kind of, a little word of wisdom that I would pass on to you from the pandora team is to not be afraid if you like something buy multiple versions of it whether that's buying it for like different fingers with rings whether that's buying two of the same bracelet it looks really really cool when you style up the same piece together and on this hand, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just going for some gorgeous diamante bracelets. So I've got the bangle, which is like half diamond and half silver bangle. And then this one just glimmers in the light. It catches so beautiful. And I love the kind of like charm that they've got in the middle of it. They have a few different colors of that. So if you don't like just plain silver, you want something a little bit extra. It's so, so beautiful. Now, of course, I have to wear my diamond ring. Look at how beautiful this is it's so so stunning from the pandora brilliance because oh my word diamonds are just a girl's best friend and you guys know what i'm like i unboxed these yesterday and i've not been able to wear my diamonds out yet i'm actually kind of impressed myself that i haven't ditched the pearls for diamond earrings but of course i have to wear the pearls with this dress but the ring i can really embrace and wear it's just so so beautiful i absolutely adore the pandora brilliance collection if you missed yesterday's video go back and check it out because i unboxed the most beautiful diamonds ever seen oh i've actually just layered that up with a really gorgeous wishbone ring i really love these rings because they work so well layering up and i love how that looks together that's such a beautiful stack that actually almost looks like a wedding stack <gasps> oh i love that so much and this is exactly what i mean when i say that wearing the same thing but start up differently can look so beautiful so we've got the wishbone facing one way on this hand and facing the other way on this hand and i really really love how that looks and then of course to finish off i have to wear my halo ring not only does it just sparkle in the nighttime, but it's just one of my absolute favorites such a classic i love all of these pieces styled together they're like diamonds the pearls i feel like it really really works for an evening look and it just looks so sparkly and so magical so i'm loving my outfit my jewelry my hair and my makeup for tonight and there's nothing better than when you're really like feeling yourself when you're going to an event sometimes it can be a little bit daunting heading to events by yourself especially because i'm obviously heading all the way into london but 
I'm feeling really good tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness me, do I look like a Christmas angel or do I look like a sparkly Christmas angel? Look at this outfit, I'm so, so in love. I feel like the velvet just ties so beautifully with the velvet on the Manolos. I love the sparkles on the bag. I feel like this outfit just looks so put together, do you know what I mean? Because everything kind of matches, everything goes really, really nicely and the jewellery just completes the look. I'm so, so in love. I'm feeling really, really good for tonight. Now in terms of outerwear, I'm going to need a coat. So I'm going to wear the forever new fluffy collar coat. I feel like it's the perfect look with this. Obviously because I am getting the train, I need something a little bit warmer. I need something that's going to keep me really nice and snugly whilst I am heading into London. I feel like this coat does exactly that. It's so warm on the collar. It's just so, so beautiful. And I could not have asked for a better length look at that length matching oh my goodness i really really love that i feel like it always makes you look so much more expensive this coat is just absolutely gorgeous it has the most stunning silhouette i love the fact that you've got the collar but it is of course removable if it's a little bit much for you but i just think it really works especially with like the hair wrap and the whole outfit i think it really ties in nicely together so i cannot tell you how magical I am feeling tonight. I feel like when you've got your hair sorted, your makeup sorted, and an outfit that makes you feel good, you can literally conquer the world. So I'm so excited to head into London for the event tonight. Thank you for getting ready with me. I really enjoyed getting ready together, doing our makeup together, and just choosing the outfits, choosing the jewellery, sorting my hair. It's been really, really lovely. I feel like I've had my girl pals here with me today, which is always nice because you need that to hype you up before you head to an event. But I've got to get going. Head into London now. Go and catch my train. The sun is starting to set, so it's going to be dark before I get in. But it's going to be a really, really magical night. <laughs> 